What's up everyone very much excited for today's video I am Sushan your Luma Fusion coach from Switch to Y Luma Fusion has roll out with a brand new update that is Luma Fusion 3.1 update that is about color grading and they have roll out this update for the free and I want to thank you Luma Fusion team uh, for listening our needs this video is about the master class that I have created this master class for the first time and it is about the Luma Fusion color grading I will bring more master class on the color grading stay tuned I hope you love this video we are going to learn so many new things and in this master class you will learn to create a 80s and 90s look VHS you can show retro look VHS look we have grown up watching all those old uh, Backstreet Boys songs and I used to love all those color grading and I tried out to create that type of color grading in Luma Fusion and I want to show you how you can produce this type of uh, color grading in Luma Fusion okay so kindly don't skip the steps if you skip uh, it might be difficult to achieve exact same look that I'm going to teach you I have given the timestamp in the description it will save your time if you are very much new kindly don't skip okay and if you're very much new don't forget to like and subscribe that I have seen uh, almost 2000 uh, 2500 uh, new visitors are there they are not subscribing to my channel so I am requesting you please please subscribe to my channel it helps me grow my channel and that's all I have to say let's jump to the tutorial uh, let me turn on the screen recording okay here I have the clip uh, first what we are going to do we are going to do some important setting project settings that is tab on this Luma Fusion settings go to preference and in the preview when in the advanced setting select preview select best okay this is very important uh, whenever you do the color correction okay now our first job is go to edit and go to colors and effect over here you will find the video scope like this you have to turn on and over here you will find the scopes like this you will find the histogram waveform vector scope okay and you can show the skin tone line like this you can turn on turn off okay Okay, like this you can select over here vector scope if you want view here okay skin skin line okay so let's start editing creating a 80s look it is 90s look okay go back this effect uh, this color grading is very useful whenever you are doing a uh, project uh, retro project I will uh, show you uh, a demo I have given the link in the description uh, of the references uh, from where I got the inspiration to do this type of color grading let's start color grading go to frame and fit in frame and fit tab on size and position and increase this size to 1 that is 101 you will understand at the last of the video why we increase this to 1 okay and now tab on blending and select um, luminosity like this it will convert the image into black like this okay and now go to colors and effect like this in colors and effect tab fourth one over here you will find swish we need to apply this swish over here and in the swish you need to play with 3ds first and it will be 6 like this and put the angle to 90 degree edit this and tab 90 ok and you need to apply one more thing that is sharp that is it will be 1.50 ok and go back this is the first step now create a duplicate copy of this one like this and tab on edit and in the colors and effect you will see this switch and sharp delete this we don't need it and instead of that tab on this motion and blur we need motion okay and play with this 
radius parameter it will be 4 like this you can always play with the radius uh, by practicing you will get perfect and angle will be 0 0 okay now tab on frame and fit in the frame and fit go to blending option in the blending you need to shift this to color like this and our footage will be colorful and okay that much we have to do for this and again we have to create a duplicate copy of this okay and tab on edit in the frame and fit you will need to make change in blending mode again and shift this color to exclusion like this okay and and play with the opacity around 60% is working proper okay this much if you see after applying this uh, exclusion and the opacity to 60% the footage is little bit of overexposed and washed out but we will fix it in the color portion now tab on colors and effect delete this motion like this and tab on original color in colors and preset and we are going to play with tint like this okay and tab on green portion like this and put the value what I am showing you 88cc57 you can put this value okay go back and we need to play with contrast and saturation see what will happen if we minus the contrast you can always play with it and minus the saturation to 70 75 okay you can always play with the contrast see the result you are getting a music video 90s music video effect that uh, I used to see in Backstreet Boys and in other music video that time you will see this type of color grading okay we can achieve this if you want a high contrast old school look to the footages see and or you can play with the 80s look that is you can bring this to 80 percent 0.80 okay that is not 80 percent 0.80 okay now we have done this little bit of color grading now we have to put a scan line to create more impact of 80s okay for that tab on this hatch in colors and effect that is hatched okay and set the angle of 90 degree for the horizontal lines see we having we are having horizontal line now and play with the width uh, it will be 6 I found this value by playing with the parameters you can always find that sharpness will be 0 0 like this and you can play with the blending I found 0 0.96 works best you can always play with the value of between 9, 0 0.90 to 100 I found 0 0.96 works best for me regarding this footage okay you will see a horizontal hatched portion okay now go back I want to give a, a pro tip uh, while doing color grading uh, if our iPad is getting laggy so you can play with this parameter that is in the advanced setting you can preview you can keep it fastest so it will play very smoothly but while doing color grading you can keep this best and don't do any type of scrubbing okay it will create unnecessary pressure to the uh, app means to the hardware uh, and otherwise it will be crash okay I am not scrubbing the timeline see I am keeping to the one position now we are come closer to the 80s VHS uh, effect but we need to do little bit more correction for that select this third layer and tab on duplicate like this and go to edit now first job is to delete all this thing hatch and original like this and tab on this frame and fit in the frame and fit you need to make change in blending instead of exclusion you need to find pin 
pin where is pin okay pin light you need to select this pin light mode and the opacity will be 100 so right now if you see the image is not over exposed or over washed okay and in the colors and effect we are going to put some important thing that is tab on fifth tab and we need to find width okay wide this parameter we need to play with this radius parameter and it will be 1 like this angle will be 90 like this okay scale will be 96 person see you are seeing this type of glitchiness to the image okay so make sure it will be less distraught okay okay that much is good and you can now play with this blue handle see how much you want you want the glitchiness in the image okay uh, this much is good okay, a little bit okay you can see this okay hand and decide how much you want if you don't do too much little bit is okay okay and let me play it okay it's uh, too much i need to play with it Okay. you can play with it uh, I'm choosing 98 now I'm playing with this skill parameter I think this much is okay let me play it now okay 98 is perfect okay, 98 is perfect you can always play uh, with the scale value between 0 0.90 to 1 okay and now the important thing we need to create a offset means we are going to create a offset line you will understood what it is okay in the freeman fit we are going to make change in cropping and size and position okay in the beginning i told you to increase the size of the footage and now you will understood why i told this to create a vhs uh, offset for that you need to play with this x position okay right now it is one and you can move this to minus 0 0.5 or to plus 0 0.5 okay it's upon you and you will see a, a scan line a fine scan line uh, like we used to see in the old TVs okay now let's start creating the first keyframe for the offset create the first keyframe and create another keyframe like this in the middle and create third keyframe at the end of the clip like this keep the distance of at least 3 3 seconds to create this offset now switch to the first keyframe and move this to the bottom like this see okay you can also play with this from the preview and move this to the center it will be zero zero okay here it will be zero zero then again move this like this to the end part that is it will be 100 and again at the last keyframe it will be zero zero like this and see the scan line effect with the offset see okay see it i will zoom little see you are getting over here you can watch it see see did you see the scan line okay okay now go back and let's play See here we have a very cool vintage look in Luma Fusion. I have not used any other 
application or anything just i have created inside this luma fusion thanks to this new color grading update of uh, it's wonderful and everything is working very nice and you can apply so many different different color effects to the footages you don't need to worry about it see you can play with it again you can apply it you can play so with so many things okay. now i want to give more final touch that is i am talking about the grain as we all love grain in the music videos you can use this i have given the link in the description that is 35 mm grain and go to edit you can play with the frame and fit and blending mode like this uh let me play with the soft light yes see it's looking very cool now after applying this and you can play with the blending how much you want like this i'm selecting 40% let me play it and you can create a duplicate copy of this like this play it okay we are having a green now it's looking complete okay now i will show you about the exporting tab on export movie photos always keep in mind this uh, right now i am working with the 1080 so always export with the 1080 if you are working with the 4k so export with the 4k okay and select this standard right now i am not having any audio so you can disable that only select video Mm. And tab on export. Now let's go and let's play it. Okay. You can add so many different different more overlays to it, but it's depend upon the project. That's all for today's video. I hope you love this today's uh, Luma Fusion Color Grading Masterclass. I will bring more this type of videos very soon. Uh, just I am also practicing with this application. Thanks to Luma Fusion uh, for giving this color grading feature. I am loving it, and I hope you also loving it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and comment to the video. Like this, I understood. Uh, uh you are liking the content or not uh, should i produce this type of content or not okay so take care everyone thank you very much for watching see you very soon in the new amazing video till then take care stay safe bye bye